Welcome to our walkthrough of ScriptRunner for Jira Server and Data Center. There are so many ScriptRunner features, it's impossible to showcase them all. Therefore, our aim is to give you the fundamental concepts so you can understand how ScriptRunner can help you solve your problems in Jira. Each feature we will talk about is timestamped below, so you can skip to the section you want if you wish. Let's begin. To access ScriptRunner for Jira, you hit the cog, then navigate to Manage Apps. On the left sidebar, you will see the ScriptRunner options with most of our core features. The Browse page is the main hub of ScriptRunner. With over 100 features available, this page allows you to easily navigate and explore everything ScriptRunner can do. We split the Browse page into four main categories, Administer, Automate, Customize, and Extend. For example, if you click Customize, you will find all features related to customizing your Jira instance. Let's start with the script console. This is one of the most powerful and popular features in ScriptRunner. The script console is where you run one or scripts for tasks and is a great way to learn and experiment with the Jira REST API from ScriptRunner. Imagine you want to run a script that gets all tickets that match a particular criteria and changes their resolution to done. You will come to the script console, type your code and run it. However, you do need knowledge of Groovy and the Atlassian API in order to write your own scripts in the script console. If you're new to ScriptRunner and you don't have all the knowledge, don't worry. Our vast documentation gives them many examples of scripts you can use, Groovy code knowledge, and information on how the Atlassian APIs work. Our documentation is a great starting point to get you writing your own scripts, so I'll leave a link to it below. Another vital resource is the Adaptivist library. Here, you will find lots of ready-made scripts and snippets you can use in your day-to-day -day work with ScriptRunner for Jira. There are many great examples of scripts that can be used in the script console. For example, here's update the value of a custom field in Jira script. But you might ask, what are the most popular use cases? What are people using the script console for? This lies within the next feature we will be addressing, built-in scripts. When you use the script console, you need to write the code, but in the built-in script section, you will find a vast array of in-app scripts you can use without having to do any coding. The built-in scripts are based on the most common use cases for which our users wrote scripts in the console to perform one-off actions. For example, instead of writing your own script in the console to mass change the resolution of all issues inside a project to fixed, you can use the bulk fixed resolutions built-in script. You don't have to spend time writing code. Just select the filter ID you want, in this case, label one filter, then the resolution you wish to apply for those issues. Then you can either preview or run the script. Here's another hugely popular built-in feature, switch for different user. This allows the admin to see the Jira instance exactly as the user is seeing it, so they can start troubleshooting the user's issues. Unfortunately, we don't have time to showcase more built-in features in this demo, but please feel free to explore by yourself. Now let's take a look at listeners. Unlike built-in scripts and the script console, where you can run a one-off action by simply clicking run on your script, listeners listen for something within Jira to happen. Then once it happens, the script is automatically triggered. You used the bulk fix resolution built-in script as you needed the action to only happen once. But you might want to automate your instance so every time an epic is moved to done, all issues which belong to that epic will also have their resolution changed to done. For this, you could use a listener. If you want to run your own script, or maybe a script you found on the Adaptivist library, then you can create your own custom listener and write the code there, in the same way you'd write your script in the script console. You will select which project you want, for example, sample business project, then select the event. This sets up what your trigger will be, and then you add your script. For this example, I will head to the Adaptivist library and use the update the value of a custom field using a listener script. So when an issue is created or resolved for this particular project, I want this script to happen. Once this is added, the script will be running periodically and automatically as a listener. If you don't want to create your own listener, you can find the most popular built-in listeners available within ScriptRunner. For example, clone an issue in links, create a subtask when something happens, fire an event when a condition is true, and many more. 
Next up is script fields. This is what you would use to create a custom field in Jira that needs to have something that out of the box Jira doesn't provide. You will give the name of the field, e.g. my first field, then a description and template if you want, maybe a version picker, date or simple text field. The beauty of script fields is the code you can attach behind this field. For example, I want this field to have values depending on three other fields. My first field will display something here, e.g. red, orange and green. This will depend on the status of the issue, who it is assigned to and the priority of the issue. This feature is dynamically dependent on anything you may need. Just like with built-in scripts and built-in listeners, Script Runner also provides a list of built-in scripted fields based on the most popular use cases. Let's move on to behaviours. Behaviours allow you to define how issue fields behave in a given project or issue context. The difference between script fields and behaviours is that script fields allow you to create fields with dynamic content, whereas behaviours allows you to change the behaviour of fields depending on certain criteria. You may use this if you want a field to be hidden or displayed to certain people, or if you want the priority field to be changed to high when an issue is assigned to a certain person. To do this, you select the field on which you want to attach the behaviour and you can also insert a specific script you want to run. You can write your own, head to the Adaptivist library or consult the documentation. Using behaviours, you can create any custom logic that fits your business. For example, you can make this script so the assignee will be optional when something happens. Or you can select the project you want this to be applied to and then create multiple behaviours which you can manage within the behaviours area. REST endpoints allow you to create your own custom REST endpoints and receive or push information from a third party vendor via the API. To create a custom endpoint, give the name of the endpoint and enter the code you want to use to connect to that API and run your custom scripts in your Jira instance using that data. Once you have the endpoint and it's configured, you can manage it by editing, disabling, deleting or creating multiple REST endpoints depending on your criteria and use cases. Script Fragments lets you customise your Jira user interface. If you want to promote an ad for users who are part of a particular project or you want to insert a new custom button in the Jira top bar menu, you can create them using Script Fragments. Install web resources, custom web section and custom web item allow you to customise your Jira instance as you might find fit. Or you can use one of the popular built-in script fragments such as Hide a System or Plugin UI Element. Escalation services allow you to schedule a script to be applied to your Jira issues after a certain time period has elapsed or on a periodic basis. For example, a business could require that tasks must be completed within a certain time to stick to the service level agreement. So, if a task has been opened but not assigned for seven days, you could automatically move it to prioritise status or add a comment which will cause a reminder email to be sent. So, where our script console runs a one-off script and listeners trigger scripts if something happen, Escalation Services applies scripts to your Jira issues to be run on a periodic basis scheduled by you. JQL Functions is one of the most used functionalities of Script Runner for Jira. You can use JQL Functions with nearly every other feature available in the app. Script Runner gives a lot of extra customised searches beyond what you can achieve with Jira. You can see all available Script Runner JQL Functions here. For example, Out of the Box Jira can show you all the issues that belong to an epic, whereas Script Runner can show you all the epics that an issue belongs to or all the issues where there's a file attached. There are so many powerful searches available. As you can see here, issue type equals task and project equals test. You just have to type here issue function to access all the customized JQL functions available in Script Runner. And this can be used with nearly every feature in Script Runner. So far, all the features we have been talking about have to be configured by Jira admins, but impact the Jira users. JQL functions can be used by Jira users as well as admins to power up their searches. Now let's take a look at resources. Using this feature, you can query and display information from external databases directly into your Jira. You can connect to any external database. 
including CSV or Excel files. You can also call and display information from the current local database your JIRA application is using. If you want to run a very complex report, this is what you want to use. One popular use case is when a ticket raised in JIRA service desk needs to display user information such as a phone number or user ID to the support worker. The information is picked from an external database via the resources feature and displayed on the ticket by the database picker built-in scripted field. Resources is very powerful. Not only can you query databases, you can also update them and modify your records from your JIRA tickets. Top tip, make sure your connection is read-only if you don't need write access. The best part about resources is that every place in script runner which has a script editor can be connected to a database. Wherever you are, in a listener or a workflow function, you can retrieve data from an external source and display it in an issue. Or you can display contextual information in your fields using behaviours. As a common JIRA functionality, you can access the workflow of any project. Within any workflow, you can add workflow customizations. For example, when transitioning a ticket from to do to done, you can add a condition, validator or post function. Script Runner allows you to go beyond the out of the box JIRA capabilities. Let's look closer. Within the conditions list, you have the out of the box conditions and also the extra Script Runner conditions. When you select it, it allows you to create powerful custom conditions for that workflow transition as well. Custom script conditions means, as you know by now, that you can write your own script. For this example, we're talking about the transition from to do to done. You want a ticket to only be allowed to move to done if a certain condition is met. The button allowing users to move the issue to done wouldn't appear if this condition is not met. You may only want the issues which belong to a specific project to be moved to done from to do if the assignee for the issues is someone in particular. As with other features, you also have a host of the most popular use cases that you can use, such as only moving a specific issue to done if the subtasks are resolved. Same goes for validators, which can be used to transition an issue from to do to done. The validator checks that all the data in the ticket is correct. Same as with conditions, there are JIRA's out of the box validators and also the script runner validator, where you can either implement your own custom script or use one of the most common use cases. For example, based on the conditions you have set, it is okay to move to done. However, you want a validator to say there should be a comment before the issue can be transitioned. If the comment is there, the ticket will be moved. If it isn't, then you can send a notification. You may be thinking that all of this is out of the box. The difference with Script Runner is the criteria behind the validator. You can choose whether the comment is only required when the status is X, the priority is Y, or the assignee is someone specific. The beauty of Script Runner is that you can implement any complex and elegant criteria for all the validators you can think of. Post functions are something that takes place after the fact. For example, after the transition happens. Once these are done, a post function can be used to create automations. Again, you have out of the box functions and the Script Runner function. As before, you have your custom post function where you can create your own script and you have the most popular use cases. For example, when an issue is transitioned to done or in review, you want an email to be sent to an external person with this content, or you might want to create a subtask. And that's all for our walkthrough of Script Runner for Jira Server and Data Center. We hope it inspires you to explore further and get the most out of Script Runner. Head over to the Atlassian Marketplace where you can download Script Runner and use it free for 30 days. Oh.